what's up everybody this is jay and this video is about empire the season finale wtf what the fork was that okay are you all wondering what you just saw like i am i mean this is crazy so before we get into it and i add break down what i'm talking about if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified of my videos and if you like my videos and recommend them hit the like now let's get into it now what happened to lucius mike what happened i thought he was shy mate oh you got some balls now so what happened i mean it started off this season that lucius was getting shot we see lucius getting shot he's talking to somebody he's saying oh you got some balls now and then he's shot multiple times falls out on the floor and he's down for the count we've seen this in multiple episodes this season but now all of a sudden what we just supposed to this the show in the series is over and this question wasn't answered we just supposed to just forget about it i guess they didn't say it was a dream they didn't say it didn't happen they didn't say anything who did it what happened nothing for all we know i mean i thought that they were supposed to be filming one more episode but because of the rona they wasn't able to film it and so i don't know i'm giving give them the benefit of the doubt but leaving us hanging like that that was crazy because it seemed like they had it all built up a lot of people don't remember but remember they had the rapper chick and she had the gun and she was mad about how lucius did her and like season one or two and uh so then they even zoomed in on the gun that she had and she was talking about what she would do if she saw lulu again so we see the gun zoomed up then the next scene and this was in like episode two or three we see the gun is the same gun so we led to believe maybe she came into the picture but we never saw her again and we don't know what happened or didn't happen and then on top it off we see in like episode three cookie running out of the house and she's all excited and upset and she trying to get to the car and she gets to the bentley and <laughs> lucius oh no and she reading a little note and then she's visibly upset when she read that note so it had to be something who wrote this note what did she see did she see lucius get killed did was he dead already did she see him get killed i mean what happened and then she runs into the car she's upset the note whatever the case it wasn't no love letter obviously and before we know it she's blown up in the bentley so not only was lucius killed off but so was cookie so what in the world happened empire i mean we've been waiting and holding on and watch the rest of this last season trying to figure out what happened to them and you didn't answer it we saw andre with his ups and downs emotional roller coaster uh with his split personality dr Drek jekyll mr kingsley and he tweaking all over the place and actually i'm gonna give him a lot of credit trey buyers he did a great job this season and hopefully he's able to parlay into a new career i'm you know miss seeing him but what was up with all of this so all he needed to do was baptize himself in church and he was cured of this this affliction of schizophrenia yeah right becky you know i'ma miss me some becky if y'all been following this show becky big draws i'ma miss you girl you was the comic relief for the show and for my videos but uh you always had a little something going on that was a little humorous if it wasn't for becky the show would have not been funny at all and 
you know it, she really helped a lot and brought carried her weight which wasn't easy but she did a great job and also what's up i would have rather seen hakeem end up with tiana so you saying that fine ass tiana ain't gonna be with hakeem they got babies together but he gonna end up with maya on some old whimsical romance in vegas and then what's up with booty lip uh dame cross i mean he, we thought he was bad he was gonna do all of this or that and he was ready to kill lucius he could have all these moves made and what ended up happening is he ended up killing his own daughter okay and that was both of them were suspects of who could have killed lucius so they killed everybody off that could have possibly killed him the only person i'm thinking is left is you know later but i mean yana's dead dame cross is dead he got killed trying to uh go in mission impossible style with lucius and he pulled off the peg leg beat him like he stole something with old peggy and then we see that yana's gone i thought she might have wanted to kill lucius or something for breaking her heart uh white tracy gone she was a suspect um only thing i could think of that you know they possibly could be one of them dead is giselle i mean lucius and cookie took everything from her bossy they got her kicked out of papal moose they got her kicked out of empire you know everything um so i don't know um what's up with this little girl right here la la what, 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 what happened we just bad what becky put her on ice and that was it huh we watch her career come up for nothing and uh what happened with giselle little secret love child uh once he didn't fell off the car and they came and had a dinner or whatever and that was it what what was the point of introducing him that's the problem they brought in too many storylines introduced too many new characters for no reason if this is the final season um what was melody introduced for just to disappear into the to the mist the abyss the, the what, what happened to melody and what's up with treasure i mean i'm not saying that you know i'm attached to every single character or this or that i just think that i don't know what happened with this last season it just seems that these shows sometimes mail it in i guess portia i mean i'm a miss portia she had a little comic relief her and becky that if it wasn't for them boy and uh you know i'm a miss carol uh you know uh cookie's little tweaked out dope fiend sister she could play a, a crackhead with the best of them i don't know how much skills that may take but you know she was showed her versatility between playing crackhead and clean crackhead but uh to find out that cookie killed her man maybe she ended up doing it they put cookie in jail before and so maybe the sisters got together and finally got rid of cookie and lucius and found a way to inherit the money or something i don't know but they should have said something and what's up with uh you know is hakeem gonna stay with maya even though they just got married by accident uh on the whim in vegas and she was tweaking she using him now what he using her for a little publicity stunt i mean he could do better than that she getting more out of this deal walking around with her just married shirts and exploiting him he's a damn fool so i wonder if that would last he'd have been better off with tiana and giselle I'm a Miss Giselle and the Becky combo with Bossy. I used to call them Biggie and Smalls, but, you know, I had fun watching their little interaction. It's a shame Bossy didn't take off and become the success they wanted it to be. But look at it, I ain't gonna make you hear this something. But uh, Becky, uh, you know, the character, it, it's a shame that we won't get to see what happens and you know the situations but our character wasn't that riveting i'll be honest you know but it was funny and it, in this show it needed a little bit of uh humor so it fit perfectly and so uh, i gave her her props that you know she she did what she was supposed to do on the show and uh then andre uh trey byers i had to give him a lot of credit i never really heard of him as an actor before until i watched empire he really hasn't done too many things but he's like very well trained and 
he did a great job this season from being calm cool and then from having his little split personalities and then dealing with his wife terry and she's all madly in love with him y'all remember terry oh my goodness she is beautiful and she was looking fine when she came in that office to see him in that little you know negligee that time but uh you know she kind of as the way the story was written didn't help with his mental illness but when it came to his physical illness she knew what to do but then when it came to mental illness as a nurse she knew nothing she just did everything wrong why would she leave a person this fragile standing at the altar in front of everybody with the embarrassment and the, the pain and torment that he would face and not having the coping mechanisms to properly deal with it is a ticking time bomb and that was really portrayed very well on screen i mean he really did a great job with the kingsley and you can see what will possibly be going on the conflict in his mind and the way that he portrayed it if there's any episode to see this is the episode to check out when andre was supposed to be getting married i can't remember offhand but i believe it was the 16th episode so check that out but uh i got video reviews for it so you all be able to check it out but he really did a great job you would think this dude really had issues for real and really needs help that's how well he did and again this uh maya chick that was tripped out how she went from what the girl said prison baby to now hakeem's boo thing so miss lion t-shirts and i just think that the best thing he could have did was get with tiana and i'm a missy and her on stage i hope that her career uh blooms and uh goes forward uh Soraya, uh she she really uh did a great job and she got a lot of i mean it didn't take a lot of acting skills to play this role i'll be honest but she can sing she can dance and she got the look so i mean if she want to develop her skills who knows what she could go so um more power to her and one storyline that i did which they finished was becky and that book of sugar now we all know that she had problems with her sugar okay i think it was type too but anyway um now that this dude then slid her a little you know what i'm saying white girl to the black girl i'm wondering what was gonna happen she was just a one hit a quitter type person i mean um it just uh, she was having problem with adderall so she definitely was about to have a problem with that horse that mean that ain't the horse but you know what i mean that white girl and she already had the little powdered donut dust on her lip and she couldn't feel it it was already numb and she was just enjoying it you know having a good old time sweating and gyrating all at the party and bouncing around and if it wasn't for poor Portia letting her know you know, what was up who knows she might have just you know went off the deep end and really enjoyed it so that would have been something interesting that i wish they'd have put this storyline earlier in the season so we could see what would have been with that rather than some of the other storylines they had focusing a little bit too much on characters that we ain't gonna see nothing about anyway then don't even introduce them let's see what's up with becky and this booger sugar problem let's see what she do with that that would have been interesting uh maybe she just stole money from bossy anyway that's just my thoughts <laughs> on that um as far as the cast andre hakeem uh terrence howard taraji i mean they had some great great talent between terrence howard uh taraji and andre that's some really good talent uh Soraya, she can you know had the dance and looks and can sing or whatever if i don't know if everybody actually do it to sing it or dance or whatever, but that's beside the point um i hope you know they keep it going i know that terrence howard and taraji have been making movies the whole time this show has been on the air but unfortunately none of these other people have been involved in anything juicy j um it seemed like he was gone and forgotten this season juicy smollett jesse and uh he was in the aliens movie and so uh who knows but 
too bad uh, Andre didn't capitalize on his time on Empire and do movies and things but now that he's no longer committed who knows maybe we'll see him do movies or more TV or whatever but I think that he has the talent to do bigger things and then it's a shame that this show went out the way it was left us watching the rest of this show to see the answer to a question that they didn't even address not didn't answer right didn't even address and that right there is crazy and unacceptable and it's gonna make me question watching another lee daniels project this long for this much so i don't know you guys you tell me what you think is this acceptable to you how this ended or am i tripping am i wrong maybe i'm at asking too much you let me know and then i'm interested to see your comments let me know what you think i appreciate all you all to support my work everybody at patreon and i see you all on the next video peace